Another book complete, I read The Gilded King by Josie Jaffrey. And oh gosh, it's been a while since I finished a book and I've been so excited for the next one. What was so good about it? What was so good about it? Let's try put my feelings into understandable language. It was a very different take on vampires. It's nice to have one that's not just skulking in the night or anything like that. They're still powerful and they still need blood. But in this post-apocalyptic world, there's a big threat to them that can make them human. So they're trying to keep all the humans that aren't going to do that to them safe and, you know, together and subjugated and, you know, try to keep their society together. It's not working too well. This book has dual protagonists, which is both its strength and its weakness. In that, when I got really invested in one of the character's stories, the chapter would end and I'd switch to the other one. I get it, you end chapters with cliffhangers so that people wanted to read more, but it kind of did the opposite to me. The main reason it took me so long to get through this book was because I had to put it down at the end of each chapter to sort of process that before I was willing to go to the other character's story. They were both interesting, they were both necessary. They both gave really good views, different views of this world. One of them was sort of outside the safe haven and what happened to the world. One was inside the safe haven and showed all sort of the politics and the culture that had um, grown there, I guess is a good word. Um, and it was really good. Both characters were really fun to watch. I think the one in the city does come across a little bit, not like other girls at the start, but she, st she starts to accept herself and she grows out of that, which is nice to see. Uh, I'm really excited for the second book. Like I said, I'm really excited. I highly recommend this book if you like a post-apocalyptic, if you're interested in vampires but don't want them to be sexy crushes or anything. There's a little bit of that. There's a little bit of that, but it's not the main thing. It's not the main thing. And some interesting lore with a really cool world and I can't wait to see what happens next. Highly recommend.